With aging, it is common to have hip and knee wear and tear. But is it similar in sports? Let's find out. Hello fellow and friends. I'm Eric Holman, orthopedic sports surgeon working at Bajil Hospital Dubai. Welcome to the hip and knee series. Join me as we cycle our way to learning the four W's of sports injuries. Welcome to the third session of the hip and knee series. Today we're going to talk about the meniscus. The meniscus is a structure inside the knee which helps us to stabilize the knee and provides more shock absorption. As you can see on the picture up here, it is a C-shaped cushion which sits on the inner and outer part of the tibia and helps with making the joint more congruent. The meniscus can be injured and it's not an uncommon injury in sports medicine. The most common mechanism of injury is when you have the knee flex, the foot is on the ground and you rotate over the fixed foot on the ground. So it's a twisting injury in most cases. We tend to divide these injuries up in two different categories. The one is the more acute traumatic type and the other one is the more degenerative type which tends not to occur in the younger population but rather occurs in patients or people over the age of 40, as you can see on the slide up there. If you have sustained a meniscus tear, the question automatically comes up what to do with it. Can we treat this non-operative or does it require surgery? I'm afraid most cases in younger patients require surgery as meniscus tears tend not to heal by themselves unless they are in an area where the blood supply is very good. So surgery means keyhole surgery, the majority of cases require the tear to be partially removed, so we call it an arthroscopic partial resection of the meniscus. The good news is you recover very quickly from surgery, you can weight bear straight away, you should be recovered within four weeks and can walk out of the hospital the same day. If the meniscus tear allows us to suture and repair the meniscus, we will always repair the meniscus. We would like to keep this cushion, the absorption cushion between the two bones intact. As you can see up here, we have a number of different suturing techniques and the meniscus tears that are applicable to suturing tend to hair in a large percentage. What do we do with degenerative meniscus tears? This is a totally different animal and in, diff in general, degenerative meniscus tears do not require any surgery. I was involved in a consensus statement with international knee surgeons and in here were the conclusions of that meeting. Degenerative meniscus tears are a normal part of aging, they are normally not traumatic and the initial treatment is always conservative. The only reason to operate on these tears if they are unstable, if you have pain which does not respond to conservative treatment or if you have locking symptoms. Thank you for watching the knee and hip series, I hope you learned a thing or two. We welcome you to make a comment or suggestions in the box below and if you like this episode please hit the like button. I'm looking forward to seeing you again at the next episode of Knee and Hip series, Cycle Away.